Hi and welcome to Mizo Tarot's weekly tarot and oracle card reading. Uh, I'm Mila, your host, your friendly tarot card reader. Let's get right to it. And we'll pick a few cards here. Let's see, I've been feeling um, lots of energy rushing in. I wouldn't be surprised if we get the chariot today. Uh, things are moving fast, lightning fast. I don't know how they're going for you personally, but feel tons and tons of energy. And I want to encourage us to utilize this energy to make big and positive changes in our lives. So let's find out. That's upside down. What's going on today? Ooh, the wish card. Now, the wish card. Yay! Nine of Cups. This is a beautiful card. It's about a place of happy contentment and all of our dreams coming true. So, like I was saying there, about using our wishes, our dreams, our desires, and then moving forward and creating that, like the magician. And being in a spot where you know that you're comfortable, things are going to turn out all right, and they will. Even if, you know, um, famous, really famous and rich and high, I, for lack of a better term right now, for high-end business people, they have wishes and desires too and everything's a little bit scary the difference is is that they just power through and go for it so this is a great week to reassess your situation to write down some goals make some uh, letters to the universe you know all of those things that can help direct you into your very own life that you create for yourself is just fabulous and fantastic and there's even um you know i'm really feeling i think this is an owl here which is suggesting about um uh we have the wisdom to know what we need and two of pentacles then that's that's exactly what's coming up for us and it is suggesting that it is time for us to get to work the one thing with the two of pentacles sorry my cards are going all over the place i have something underneath there and i didn't realize it um the one thing with the two of pentacles is that we have to focus on the task at hand so be focused on everything that's in directly in front of you. You don't want to drop any of the balls. So, and it's also about having multiple projects. It's about watching our ships coming in. See the ships are arriving through the roughness and the chaos. They're there for us. They're coming. They are on its way. Expect to see arrival and notice and be grateful for all the extra uh, little health benefits and financial gains that we make at this time. It will only lead to more of having that wish card. It's fabulous. Ooh, and then the Two of Cups. This is such a beautiful week. Oh my gosh. Two of Cups is about having everything that we have working together and everything we touch turns to gold. This is a really great week, you guys. If you're planning on launching something, do it now. <laughs> Do it now because this is like just great news. It's about beautiful partnerships and being in balance. It's also the Two of Cups is known as the Soulmate card. And um, it's about meeting somebody that maybe that you, you would love to meet your partner, your life partner. Uh, keep your eyes peeled. I really have a feeling that this is to do with more along the partnerships of business um, creating those beautiful long-term partnerships for life as you do business. and But it's also about emotional wellness. See, the Ace of Cups, the card before, is all about um, joyful happiness and really your cup's overflowing with emotion and things are just going your way and you're in a blissed out atmosphere. And when you uh, are feeling all blissed out, just good things keep on rolling, right? That law of attraction, that like um, attracts like, you know? So the more that you're happy, 
the more that you're full of joy, the more that you're full of love, the more that things will be coming together in the best way possible. So, and I want to put out uh, one of those Ascended Master cards too. So, here, okay, so Divine Healers are here. Uh, shadow, right? This card is a little bit, you know, we've had it before. What it is, is it's about us being maybe not so happy with the way we've treated ourselves or other people or how things have been happening in the past. It's a card of forgiveness, forgiveness for ourselves, forgiveness for the people that have perhaps hurt you and know that those things that have happened had to happen so that you learn life lessons. So instead of being upset about um, anything that comes in that maybe you haven't reacted well to a situation or perhaps, you know, uh, we haven't communicated nicely in a relationship or maybe there was a total lack of communication. Maybe there was, you know, whatever the thing. Forgive, forget, move on. Look at all of these beautiful cards. They're all saying to us that you can have whatever it is that you want. Give with love. Give your heart. Open your heart. Give your love. Divine healers are here to say. And then I'm going to take out one of these cards because I've really been into these cards lately. And I think this is the card right here. And then, look. Follow your heart. So forgive yourself and follow your heart. The white doves there. White doves are there saying forgiveness. There's a little bird here that's blue. And blue is a good color for healing and being healed. But all of these colors all match, don't they? They all match and they're all saying gold and light and and things are really coming together. It's time to follow your heart. Your Nine of Cups, that wish card, you know what you want. It's time to create exactly what you want. And your heart is telling you. You just have to open up your heart and allow it to happen. I know it gets scary. I know there's fear, but fear is just all, you know, it's just really all in your head. You just got to take the deep breath, move forward. There's tons of work coming up. Our health is improving. Uh, everything is looking just absolutely fabulous. I'm totally excited about this week. It's going to be fantastic. Make sure you create. You are the creator of your own life. So make it happen. Follow your heart. You know what's best for you. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave you with that. And, uh, you know, I really appreciate uh, you watching. Thank you so much. I wish you the very best week. And uh, let me know how things go for you. Is there new work options? Is there new relationships? Is your wish coming true? Are you truly following your heart? I love to hear from you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.